Lilia and Anatoly's house is always bustling with affection. They mama's boys. But their love as parents goes well beyond their three boys. This sculpture is Lilia's hand wrapped around her daughters. Learning while 11 weeks pregnant, they were extraordinary. I'm still have feeling like I'm leaving someone's life, not mine. Lilia was carrying twin girls, conjoined at the head. It was very tough. I just was shocked. I couldn't process. When I got home, my husband said that everything will be good. We will get through it. This is our kids. We already love them. Born December 30th at UC Davis Medical Center. I'm surprised they're so big. The mere fact that Abigail and Michaela survived childbirth is remarkable. She does love yeah. to eat, though. I mean, they both really happy babies, not fuzzy ones. Very happy, always laughing, smiling, uh, positive, always. But this was just the beginning of an uncertain road. There is not much I can go and do research how to do, what to do, what to use, what not, because it's uh, really rare. Joined by the skull, soft tissues and brain, Abigail and Michaela are incredibly rare conjoined twins. There are um, very few children born in any one year worldwide that have this anomaly. Who are you, are you where? Look how she's tracking you. She's like, whoa, whoa. And of those, there's only a much smaller subset that the anatomy is fortuitous enough to be able to attempt a separation and hopefully come out with two healthy babies. The twins spent the past four months at UC Davis Medical Center preparing for the chance to live independent lives. We do nervous, of course. We are parents, you know, like even if you don't want to, mm -hmm. but you will. A marathon, 24-hour surgery this past weekend. Cranial separation, yay! Ending with a far but guaranteed success. One, two, three, move. Abigail and Michaela will remain at the UC Davis Pediatric Intensive Care Unit for weeks to heal. It's like uh, one step at a time. It's uh, hard enough, but it's just one step at a time. Embarking on a lifelong journey of defying odds. It's all in God's hands. It's not even in doctor's hands. That's what I believe. In Sacramento County, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.